on the latest and greatest Harry Potter. Nah. Anyways, say, isn't it Christmas Eve? So, let's carry on a tradition and read. Twas the night before Christmas. Wow, special effects. Anyways, okay, here we go. Year number 5,900, whatever. There we go, finally. Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. I read it so many times I don't even need the book. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window, I flew like a flash, tore open the curtain, shutters, and threw up a sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wonder eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them my name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, now Comet and Cupid, now Donner and Blitzen. There's a cool little picture there with no words. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the coursers they flew, with sleigh full of toys, and St. Nicholas too. If I can get the page. There we go. And then, in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. Shh. Guys, don't tell. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled. His dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses. His nose, like a chip. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke, it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face with a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl through full of jelly. See, on the Aiden show here, you can expect many mispronunciations or words that I'm not trying to say. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him, in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. No, not that kind of jerk. 
and laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney, he rose. He sprang to his sleigh. To his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle, whatever that is. But I heard him explain as he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. That one you didn't catch, audience. Anyways, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Uh, we got our audience here. We got me. We got camera guy, which you can't see. And you got Casey. So, yeah. Merry Christmas 2017.